Hello everyone and I hope you're doing well. Today we have a little bit of a different type of video. Now if you've been subscribed for a while you'll know that I'm a bit of a Yu-Gi-Tuber or a Yu-Gi-Oh YouTuber who primarily focuses on Yu-Gi-Oh. Now with the meta as it is at the moment I thought now would be a better time than ever to check out some other card games because if you don't like the meta don't play it. Now I'm hoping to turn this into a bit of a series trying out different card games from the perspective of a Yu-Gi-Oh player. We're going to give ourselves an hour for each game. We're going to go through a lot of the basics like the tutorial, uh, deck building, uh, free to play capabilities because Martyr already does spoil us uh, with that. And uh, we're also going to look at some reviews at the end as well, as well as hopping into one ranked game, at least one ranked game. It depends how long the tutorial and stuff takes us. Uh, but the first one we're going to be checking out is Magic the Gathering Arena, and I'm actually quite excited to get into this. They've recently released a expansion called the Bloom Burrow, uh, which has some really cool art, and uh, I'm looking forward to giving it a go. So without further ado, let's jump in, and uh, I've created my account. We just need to hop in. I think there's a tutorial, so we'll get started and we'll start the timer when we get there. Okay, whilst I was getting the game open, it looks like it just automatically started. So uh, let me just start the timer. Okay, an hour on the clock. Let's go through to the tutorial. Play a land. So far, the animation is very pretty. I don't have enough land. Oh, okay, that was full combo. We full comboed him turn one. He's also put a land. He's a green. I need to turn the volume down. It is a very loud game. Okay, play another land. I'm really good at this. Oh yeah, tap the lands, get the mana. I know like some of the basics of Magic the Gathering, so I guess I... Oh, okay, it just does it automatically. I will summon the Shrine Keeper. He is 2-2. You can summon creatures to fight for you. Nice. Here he is. They have summoning sickness, like Hearthstone, I think. So they can't attack the turn they're summoned, as far as I know. We drew another land. Uh, I guess we'll play it. Why not? Summon another guy. Oh, we're gonna win. Yeah, summoning sickness. So I can attack with this guy. Uh, no attack, all attacks. Can I just click him? Yeah, there we go. One attacker. He up! So, attacking power, blocking power. Okay, so that's like health and attack. Uh, and then they get taps. So they can't block. Okay. Oh. Oh say less what are you gonna do summon a forest treetop warden okay can i block with this new guy okay well he hasn't even got a description so it's, i mean he's a cool looking guy he's funky all right summoning sickness yep at least get used to that i can summon you two neutral one white manner i believe he are keep pressing the attack um do I want to attack with all? I guess the the wisp told me to, so yeah, I'll attack with all of them. You've been blocked. Ah, uh, you can block with something sickness. Okay. And they're both gonna die. They both die. Yeah. Okay. I hope that animation doesn't play every single time a battle goes. That would be quite tedious. Admirable. Okay. What's he gonna summon? To or she gonna you. summon? Gonna be a big mammoth or something. Close. It's a 4-4. Four, four. So you can block both of my guys, which is a bit scary. I mean, I guess I played the land. Do I want to keep them then? But I guess so. I think board presence is better. I don't know. I'm using my Hearthstone knowledge. Feral Roar. Target creature gets 4-4. Four, four. Oh my god. Maybe I should have killed that. Well, I'm going to have to block him. Um, Stand your ground. Let's block with the 2-2. Two, two. Ah! <laughs> it just exploded. Okay. Oh, and it's worth mentioning these are not sponsored, by the way. I'm not big enough to be sponsored. Destroy target tapped creature. Yeah! Kill that guy. I'm glad I kept the 3-2. And now I'm going to attack you in the face. Okay, you got another one of those dudes. Oh, I got two of them! We've got you cornered. Tap all creatures your opponent controls with toughness two or less. Oh, well, that's kind of cheating. Wow, this I'm so good at this game. 
attack and I win. Does he explode? Outsider. Yeah, there she goes. Victory. And just like that. Oh my god, it's been four minutes. <laughs> Mirbo, the goblin man. I'm assuming he's red. Red red is probably the deck I'm gonna go Surprise for. Aggro is fun. Surprise attack. You've only got 13. Oh, haste. I think you just get to attack immediately. Yeah. Ow. Yes, first blood. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry. These things are basically okay. harmless. There we go. Just planes. It's got two of them. Three of them. Okay, oh my god. Yeah, I am worried. There's three goblins coming at me. Second blood. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. yeah. Go. Two two. Hopefully, yeah. Assuming I can block these guys. Uh, I'll block one of them. Can I block more than one? No. Okay, blocked. I think we can win if he just has these. Okay, he has a three three. I've got more where that came from. Can tell. Cat! What's the cat do? Oh, it's just a 1-2. That's kind of perfect, actually. Well, of course it is. It's a tutorial. Okay, go. Your creatures aren't tough enough to hold them back. Yeah, I don't want to attack him. Don't attack if your opponent... If an opponent can block with a bigger creature, otherwise your creature could die. Yeah, that makes sense, because he could block with this guy. Okay. But me. Charge. Charge, yeah. I don't know about that, chief. Uh, we'll let the 3-3 three, three live for now. We want value. Because then we can use both of these on this. Okay, we're getting the gist. We're getting the gist. Uh -huh. I like the goblins. They're cool. Goblin grenade! Uh, sacrifice a goblin, deal five damage. Oh my god. You just literally threw a goblin at me. Okay. I'm a fan. Uh, I'm just going to attack you. Why did, why did you kill your goblin? He was a loyal oh, goblin. Oh, gang leader. Great two goblin tokens. What does this do? The spiritual guardian enters you and gain four life. Oh, that's handy. Yep. Ha. <laughs> He'd be a fool to attack you now. Um. I guess I could just attack with everything. I'm gonna attack with everything but the cat because the cat will just die. Okay, so you can block two. Well, you can block with two minions. Okay. It's time to bring the What's pain. this? Ogre Pain Bringer. It deals three damage to each player. That's fine. I mean, he's a 7 3, which is scary, but. God, it's so rigged. Uh, you can do attack with this guy. He didn't block it. Uh, just block with this one. <laughs> okay, I think I just win, right? Wah. Okay. Okay. Uh, is it going to show us all the colours? Okay, I see. We've got a, a full tutorial going on. Oh, cards. We'll find out if they're any good later. Oh, you get to choose. Okay. Challenging lesson. Okay. There's a mystic there who spent his life. I'm pretty sure I recognise this as a blue green, or a blue. I think this is a blue. He looks like a Chad. He's got the kind of thing going on. He's been mewing. If it is wisdom you seek, I will teach you. I will teach you. Yeah, it's a blue. Flying. Okay, I know this can't be blocks. Okay, except for flying and reach. Birds fly freely. How does the cat not have reach? I guess I'll stop with the cat, why not? Uh, you can have more flying guys? I can't really deal with them. It gets plus one, plus one. Okay, I like how slow this is compared to Yu-Gi-Oh. It's a, it's a refreshing change of pace. I don't know if competitive magic is like that. It could be, like, extremely fast. I mean, I can't block you. Uh, what's this do? 
Enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two. Do I use that on the cat? I mean, I guess it's efficient playing on curve. Good. Cool. Yeah. Paying attention. Might as well. He could summon another guy, but I have a feeling he's just going to keep buffing this bird. Oh, damn it. He summoned a crab. May block your path. Oh, it's just a zero four. We can deal with that. Your true goal. Is that crab wearing... Yeah, he is. Um, just a three-two. I keep thinking the flavor text is like an effect. I mean, yeah. Let's let's attack the crab. He's definitely gonna block. Yeah. Sometimes okay. the best way around is through. Okay. God, can I get a flying or a reach? Water Knot. Enchant creature. When Water Knot enters, tap Enchanted creature. It doesn't untap during its untap step. Okay, so... Oh. Okay, so he's basically frozen one of my guys. Oh, and they regen their defense. It's not just like a one-time thing. Okay, that's good to learn. That means we should enchant the cat again. So that we can kill... The crab. There we go. Okay, crab. Crab down. Crab down. Island. Ow. If you keep to the shallows, wow. you'll never sounds... learn the secret. Sorry, I'm really bad with text. I just skip past it. <laughs> I like I read it. Maybe I should chill out. But we are on an hour time limit here. Okay, let's gain some health. Is this just permanently tapped? Yeah, okay, I guess so. Let's kill this other crab that he's just summoned. Surely he won't draw another crab. Okay, he drew a land. Four six. If you make big waves, do not blame the ocean when you get carried away. This guy's very deep. Ah, oh, has flying. Oh, that's big. Uh, plus three, plus three is probably best to put it on this. I mean, there's no point attacking with this, but I guess I can make him tap his minion. Bam! Holy sh! It sounded like I shot him. Oh, I made a mistake. I forgot I couldn't defend with unt with tap stuff. But I just win now. I think. Okay, he's he's starting to lose his way a little bit. Wait, so I just win? So. <laughs> I just win, right? Yeah, okay. It was fun while it lasted. Well, that was pretty easy. More cards. Why are they giving me all white cards? It seems like they want me to uh, pick okay. that. You're almost ready to take on anyone. Even yeah. Your last lesson. Let's head to Tarkir. Tarkir. Okay. Surprise. We're nearly through the tutorial. It's only been 15 minutes. Let me know in future episodes. Do you want me to keep the tutorial in? Every move and be ready for okay, anything. opponent can cast spells. Oh, okay, they have instants. I, I know of those. Oh, what pretty little thing has There's... wandered into my web? Ah, black. Okay. Cat. Meow. Meow. Go on, attack me. Okay. I kind of don't want to now, but. I guess we'll attack you. This is my favorite part. Yeah. Aw. You gonna kill my cat? No! I'll never forgive you. Let her get under your skin. Your move. She's just gonna have a bunch of those, isn't she? Summon another guy. Do it again. Dare you. Uh, oh, okay, he just summoned a guy instantly. Is he thinking about it? What's going on here? Ow! No, <laughs> I didn't. Another land. I saw that coming. Uh, I guess we buff this guy, why not? It seems to be what the tutorial wants us to do. What should kill it? 
It's gonna be like, I think there's a card called Murder. Okay, now another 2 1. Sacrifice a creature, draw two cards. Okay. Oh, what? Because cause the attack was declared on the monster and then the monster's gone? That's good to know. Swamp. Oh my god. Can't block. Ow! I was reading! Your cards from your hand and deals one damage for each swamp they control. Uh, for each swamp you control. Damn, that was a lot of damage. Careful. You can't afford to take another hit like that. Yeah, so I... Oh, I have an instant. So I can give this a buff. I see, I see. Then it's time for some trickery of your own. Okay, it will block. Can't and then we can now. go up damage step. Ooh, very clever. And now we just like win, I assume. I mean I could be safe, but summoning sickness is a thing. Oh, he's just used two of them. Right I have fallen right into your trap. Oh, but I can, I can, he up. Top deck wars. God, the explosions are excessive, and I can respect that. I've got nothing, really. You're at, I'm, I'm at your mercy. mercy. Yeah, I don't believe you. I mean, I'm going to attack you. Okay, it wasn't lying. Looks like you've let your guard down. Right. Oh my god. It's a good thing that the tutorial has given me the perfect counter. Now it's my turn. Hurry, make some blocks. Yeah. Wham. Ugh, why won't you die? Now you've got her. Okay, he has no cards. She has no cards in hand, so like we're fine. It generally sounds like you've just shot them with like a deagle. Is that what happens when you lose at Magic the Gathering? You just get taken out back. Yeah, more cards I'm probably not going to use because I want to play red. Job. That was some quick thinking. No, it wasn't. You just gave me the cards to play. <laughs> I actually think I have him. What? Is that him? After I annihilated you. I really didn't expect to see you again. Okay, is this going to be a real fight? This is a terrible idea. I hope this is a real fight and not like hand holding. Nicole Bolas. Okay, no, it wasn't the guy. I've just got a random dragon that looks similar. I'll make a deal with you, Planeswalker. I like his voice actor. Defeat me, and I'll let you go. I'll let you go. Lose. And you will serve me for eternity. Okay, well that doesn't seem very fair. Fight as if your life depended on it. So this is going to be a real match. Oh, he's got multiple colours. Each player discards a card. Sometimes you need to make a tough decision. I mean, no, it's not that tough. I'm going to discard a land, right? Because I have enough lands to did get all these out. Just throw away a dragon. Oh my god, he did. Look surprised. I, I mean, he can't play it yet. With what is mine. And it is all two two. Fine. I will be. What the hell? He's got like three colors. Ah. Everything here exists or perishes at my will. Wait, you've got three colors? Okay. I didn't know you could do that, but I don't really want to block with this guy. But I don't have much of a choice. I could be greedy, actually. I could be very greedy. Draw three cards and lose three life. Okay, didn't attack. Uh, I don't want to attack with this. I will let nothing stand in the way of what I see. Because I can use tactical not advantage, but it's just a two-two. I'm not like scared of it. Put target creature from graveyard onto the battlefield under control. Oh. Oh, and it's flying. Um. That's. Scary. Okay, maybe I have to block this then. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be greedy. I... 
think tempo is important here. This will keep us alive. Uh, I mean, we can swing. Get some damage in. Enough of this. What are you going to summon now? An island. Double cast. Cast the same thing twice, pretty much. Okay. Deal two damage to each. Yeah. Can't, I can't read it. Hello. Deal two damage to each creature without flying. Oh, God. Whoa. 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 Ow. Uh, I guess I summoned him now. Yo. Okay, I've got at least two turns left in me. I'm assuming I'm about to draw a bunch of two or less. Target player draws seven cards. My triumph is at hand. What the hell is that? Okay, so I'm going to draw a card and gain a life. This. Yeah, and I'm going to do it again. And you can give me another one. Might be able to pull <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, I was hoping this would be a real match, but it's just uh, hand holding. Uh, I think I'm actually going to keep him not attacking. It deals three damage to each other creature. Oh my god. Well, at least he's still alive. All succumb to Bolas. Bolas. Succumb to Bolas? Uh, I can create three things. Oh, I guess I'm going to draw three because of that, so that would be pretty Hold good. Back, so you can prepare yeah. For his attack. At least he's not... Oh, he's flying. I was about to say, at least this guy's not flying, but... Okay, here we go. Wah! Cat. Advantage. Planes. Yeah, I can't block this guy. Wait. I can? Oh, they're flying. It's not going to do anything, though. I'll just do this so I don't take any attack. Oh! Mistakes were made. Okay, that's, that's good. I can't go back, can I? Yeah. So I could have buffed one of them up and killed this, so that might actually be game losing. Let's see, what will we draw? How many cards have we got? Impudence. Quite a few. Ah, flying. Yeah. And play the land as well. Yeah, you got nothing to block this guy. Smack! We don't want him to die anyway. Oh, okay. Well, good thing I attacked with him first. Uh, 1-5. Five. Uh, 5-3. Five, okay. So... If we want to be efficient, we do this here and then buff him. And then... I don't want to use the cat, but... So we'll do that. Yeah. And we'll buff this guy so he lives. At least there's some choice in this one. Gets 3-3 three, three and flying. Flying cat! Don't give up now. Yeah, I'm going to make a flying cat. Perfect. Uh, so, I'm going to block with him, the cat. I guess we'll attack with this guy. I think we can just win straight up quite soon. My Probably next turn. Is wearing thin. Let's finish it. Oh. Okay, yeah. You've made a grave mistake, sir. Uh, block this one. Cat, buff cat. Cat's carrying us. And now he's got no flyers, I just win. Oh, not straight up win, but close enough. We'll be safe, we'll be really safe. Okay. And just like that, we win. Unless he has any instants, but we'll find out. Here, cool. We can leave. Ah, I'm impressed. Sick. He's impressed. Now we get some rewards, I think. <laughs> that 
Woohoo! Mario moment. What do we get? Whoa! Goblins everywhere. Well, that's not even a choice for me. Goblins everywhere? Goblins everywhere. Oh, I get all of them. I thought you got to pick one. Okay, that's kind of cool. It doesn't lock you into, like, one class or one, one colour. That's quite cool. So you can start making mixes if you want. It's kind of nice. I, I, I like that. Work, planes, We're in. I think you're ready for the next stage of your journey. Okay. In Sparky's challenge, you'll choose a starter deck to play against me. Oh, you to play against the lady. If you can defeat lady. me three times, you'll have proven... Okay, so I don't get to play ranks just yet. Larger world. So let's this, go. Okay, so it's immediately trying to sell me stuff. Let's have a look at the value. Oh, it's not showing up. The starter bundle is five ninety nine. Adventure bundle, sixteen ninety nine. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, respected. Join our Discord. Okay, well I'm not gonna buy the bundle. We're gonna go free to play here. Oh my god. Um. Oh, okay. So I guess this is all our packs. Let me fast forward through claiming everything and see what we get. End up with. Okay, so we claimed every code we could find. We claimed every single bundle or whatever was in the inbox. Look at how many packs we got. We got so many of them. Can we open it all? Oh, is it just going to speed through? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Manifold mouse. I'm assuming these are good, but we genuinely don't know. These are wild cards. I guess you can craft those. Craft craft with those. Um. Okay. Open all. What are these? Okay. You get wild cards than when you open. Whoa. Mythic wild card. Okay. Um. I'm just gonna spam open these. Yeah. I don't know. That looks cool. I don't know what any of this means, but we're just gonna, like... These look so cool. <laughs> Is that, was that the Doctor Who expansion? Yeah. Let me fast through, fast forward through going through all these. What the hell? That was loads of them. Old looking cards as well. They're usually good. Okay, that was all the packs. Let's have a look. I wonder if we can find like our collection. Can we filter by rarity? I want to see all the high rarity ones. Select. Oh my god, there's so many different different formats. Traditional standard? Is that what 1v1 is? Weird that they don't just tell you that. Well, what are these, actually? This should tell us. This is aerial domination mode. Alchemy mode? Um, I'm going to look this up. Okay, so I just copied a list. I'll put the website in the description. Um, and it says it's standard, so I guess this is what we need. Holy shit, I'm missing a lot of cards. What happens if I could craft all? Okay, I, I don't want to hit that just yet. Okay. Well, deck building seems nice. There is, like, an import button, so you can, like, just import anything, uh, like, any decks. Um, oh, I can delete decks as well. Let's delete this one. I need to make it for the code. Let's just use a, like, structure deck first. Goblins everywhere. Bot match. Okay. So this is a real match. Well, not real, but, like, it's not being guided, at least. We're playing against an orb. So we should win. We're a lion. Lions win against orbs all the time. Okay, we can mulligan. Uh, we can do six damage. I mean, I, I think these are good, so... Let's just keep those. Let's keep it. Get ready for some friendly competition. Friendly competition? This is not friendly. We're not going to be friendly. 
Oh, red versus red. Okay. Uh, nest robber. You can block it though, but let's see you block it. I know you can't because you tapped. Yep, I need to get used to that. Okay, it's literally like, I think we have the same deck. Uh, we'll play another one. Oh, you can reorder cards. That's cool. Yeah, let's just go crazy. Let's go ham. This seems like a race. They're dealing three. I'm dealing four. It looks like I'm winning this race. Goblin gathering. Create one one creatures plus the number of goblin gatherings in your graveyard. Okay. Another creature enters that gets two zero and haste. Okay. Put that in. Let's keep going. That, like, it doesn't seem like. Oh. Oh. Whoops. At least I can block one. Ah, not attacking. Other goblins you control get one, one sacrifice, a goblin destroy target artifact. Okay, another 3-3. Three, three. Oh, 5 th Oh. I mean, he can block that, though. But he can't block both without killing them. But I kind of don't want to attack. It's all about board control. Minotaur. What's this? Immortal Phoenix flying. When it dies, return it to hand. Deals six damage to any target. Well, let's... Flying time. Oh, and it's got haste. Yeah. Smack. Ah. Yeah, I agree. He has a lot of Minotaurs. Well, so you're just gonna lose? Can I do this to you? Just hit you in the face? Well, that was easy. Congratulations, you've done it. I've done it. I've just done it. That's it. I win. So this is still like an extended tutorial, then. We might as well try a couple of different colors, right? Cool. <laughs> Is that an emote? Uh, I've already got a sleeve, so I'm alright with that. More packs! And a, a... A ball of moss? It's not going to tell me what the ball of moss is. Let's just open these. I still don't know what I'm getting from these. That looks good. Maybe. Profile. I don't want to look at my profile. I've got 100% win rate. I don't need to double check. Bot match. Best of one. When do we get out of bots? Oh. Okay, this... So this is the one I'm meant to be doing, I think. Choose your deck. Oh, okay, we got we got different ones. Snack time. I want to play snack time. So that, that was a waste of time, that bot match, then. Good to know. What the hell is this? May cast it as an adventure. Okay. These are all quite big. I'm gonna mulligan. Get some smaller guys. I mean, they're kind of smaller. I'm gonna mulligan again. I don't really know looks like a good spot for some what I'm looking for. Uh, we've got two of these, don't need that. That's big. As is that. Oh, I need to drag two, okay. I can create a food token. Aww! Uh, let's just one of these. So we can buff a dude and get a draw pacifism. Can't attack or block. Why would you want that? Life link. It's life steal, okay. Maybe I should have gone for a green. But that's fine. Uh three two, yeah, we know that one. We played with that one.
Okay, my turn. So you can use these at any point, that's good to know. Let's play this as a dude. Okay. Is this a permanent? What is a permanent? We'll do this. Reach for the sky. Enchant creature. Enchanted creature gets plus three, plus two, and has reach. Yeah. Might as well. Oh, I thought it was a dude. But I, I guess we'll attack with him. He can't block with this guy. Oh, you can order the damage? Yeah, we'll, we'll choose that one first. I don't mind that one. Okay, I guess it's a draw card. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Well, I guess it stops it from ever being attacked. I guess it's the only reason you'd want that. It just seems like a bit of a waste. And it gets plus two, plus two. Uh, food merchant? I've created a token. Oh, this is a food token. Pay two and you gain three life. Okay, it seems a bit unnecessary. Let, let's put growth on it and attack so it doesn't die. There we go. Sacrifice a food. You may sacrifice a food. If you do, attacking creatures get 1-1 one, one and trample. Nah. We'll just smack him. Yeah, I don't care which order they die, I don't think. Destroy a permanent. I don't really know what that is. Okay, the cat still lives. Yep. My turn. Who's this? Scream Puff! If it deals damage to a player, create a food token. Yeah, give me one of those. Whoa! Yeah, go. So he can't block, so it's fine. Nice, top deck to land. We love to see it. How much damage can we get in? 4-4, four, four, so we get 7. We got 14 damage here. I mean, we want this just to draw a card. Maybe we draw into lethal. We don't, but we draw into a land. Oh, we might have lethal. So what? Gain 1-1, one, one, so that's 10, 2, 12, 16. We're one off. Let's just go for it. No. Oh. Oh, it's another food. Sweet. Wow. What a top deck. Okay, let's just like go absolutely ham then. Let's just buff the shit out of this. Can I... Oh, okay. I can destroy an artifact. Let's just destroy the 2-2. Two -two. Oh, thinking. Okay, let's find out what permanent means. Oh, okay, it just means anything that's on the board. That's good to know. Yeah, go. Screw it. Go crazy. BM. Um, no, but I think you're going to keep forcing me to play you until I can go into an actual match. So... I guess we have to... I'm never a fan of these types of tutorials. Let me get bodied and ranked. What's this? Fountain port. Let's try the red deck. Hopefully this, this one will be a bit more aggro because it's red. So we should win quick before our hour runs out. Uh, do we have any small guys? We have a small man. Oh, we have one of the special lands as well. Surveil 1. Look at the top card. You can put it in your graveyard. Yeah, fine. Well, I don't know enough. We've got a little bit of a curve going on. Uh, yeah, let's look at the top card of our deck. It's a land. I think we want the land. Wait, his face up? He can see it? 
flying. Ooh. We can play this guy. What's next? We need... Reveal the top four, put a creature or land into your hand and rest into the graveyard. Oh my god. That's... That's painful choice. Uh... Yeah, I could deal damage, but I could also just do that. Let's have a look. What's on the top? What do we want in our hand? This. And the rest go. Uh, we might as well attack. It's just going to get blocks though, actually. Maybe I shouldn't have. Turtle! Okay, so his, his strategy is playing big beefy boys and just attacking with flying so I need to go quick deal of damage take that I mean ideally we want to get a um, we want to get a dinosaur up so that these guys start getting buffs why are you attacking with a zero five I'm assuming he has an instant. No. Yes, dinosaur. Menace. Can't be blocked except for two or more. I mean, that's actually not going to do that much. But we'll give it to this guy. Tealing another damage. Yes. So now whenever these attack, they get plus one, plus one. Right, so we might be able to kill something. I want to kill this first. Oh, he only blocks one of them. God, he's got so many big boys. Why do you just return that to hand? Why are you attacking with these? I'm so confused. I guess I'll block it. I'm confused why he's attacking with this. There must be a reason. Reach. Okay, I need that. And it's a dinosaur. It deals two damage to each opponent. That's pretty good. Let's attack with everything. Bang, bang. And okay, no, we're, we're doing more damage than him. He's got an archer. He is an archer. Oh, I see. I don't want to block any of them. You just hit me with turtles for fun. A six six. It's massive. I have seven. We'll we'll do this. Draw a card for each other, Dino. Cool. Uh, I don't want to attack with this because I can block the flying. Here we go. Why is this still... Oh, I can tap it to deal two damage to everything. Oh, I shouldn't have done that, because now we can attack directly. <laughs> I'm learning. But surely that means this turn I can just do this. Cool. <laughs> Come on, I want to get one ranked game in before before we run out of our hour. I might just skip past this game if it's the same gameplay as last time. It's a game, so remember to have fun. I don't want to have fun. Okay, yeah, I will. I'll skip past it. Congratulations, you've done it. Okay, that was really quick. <laughs> just that you just summoned big boys and attacked. Waiting for the server. That's my favourite part of the game, actually. Nice work. I think you're ready to face other planeswalkers in a new event. Starter, Starter deck, deck duel. duel. So we're not going to be able to play the regular one, are we? How much? How much did we get? We got twenty-four 
commons, 29 uncommons, 12 rare and 6 mythics uh, for our deck. Now this is literally just a meta deck I copied. It has the highest win rate of anything on the tier list that I could see. I mean, it's technically there's some other decks that have a higher win rate, but it looks like they're not mono red. And I kind of like the idea of mono red. So what are we missing from this? Five common, 21 uncommon, 11 rare. Does that say 21 uncommon? Sorry. Oh, it's done. It just did it. I didn't really expect that. I must have accidentally clicked OK. But I mean, we still have loads left, actually. I'm kind of surprised. We have companions. Cute. I mean, we don't have any, but... Mono red. Unfortunately, we can't play with that. Maybe we can play against the bot with it. Let's see how OP this deck is. And then at least we can see the difference between a starter deck and a bot deck. A... No, starter deck and a meta deck. God, not a bot deck. And I'm sure some magic players are about to tell me that mono red is bot. Um, haste prowess. Gains plus one, plus one. Shock. Haste valiant. Whenever Ember Heart Challenger becomes a target of a spell or ability, you can control for the first time each turn. Exile a card from the top of your library. And you may play that card. I mean, I kind of want to mulligan. I don't think I want that much land. That looks a bit better. Actually, no, there's still the same amount of land there. But I don't want to mulligan again. Like a good spot for some practice. Let's get rid of one of the lands. Let's see if we absolutely crush this, even though we don't know what we're doing. I think we play that first. What does Prowess do? Oh, that's the plus one, plus one. Let's just summon this guy first then, and then we can start getting in. Monstrous Rage. Target creature gets plus two, plus zero to the end of the turn. Create a monster roll attached to it. It's plus one, plus one. Trample it has more than one roll. All the recent ones go to Graveyard. So if we do this, we go Heartfire Hero. Oh, maybe I was meant to manually tap this one so I could buff with this. We got two of them though. I mean, so far he hasn't done anything. Double strike. Uh, let's play a mountain first. So we do this. Target lizard, mountain, otter, and gains a plus one, plus zero in haste. So if I target this. Whoa. And it gets another plus one, plus one. So if I put this on... This one. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. It has trample, so I think it does like piercing damage. Oh, okay. That's going to die now. Oh. That's going to leave a mark. Double strike. Okay, that's what got me there. I mean, so far so good. Enchanted creature gets plus one plus one as menace and trample. What does plot mean? Okay, you just do it again. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna buff this guy. And then buff him again. So now that's buffed as well. And then let's go crazy. And then we can just deal three damage. And we just win. 
I suppose this probably wasn't a good deck of the, uh, test of the deck's power because, uh, well, we're playing against an AI. But I mean, it does seem pretty brain dead. Well, that was nice and easy. Yeah, I guess in, in my spare time, we'll I'll go and do... Maybe I'll play all the starter deck stuff. Maybe I'll... Okay, 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 okay. Shush. Shush, 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 shush. Stop. Oh, God, now I've actually clicked on another one. Okay. <laughs> so, it's pretty fun. It's a very lengthy tutorial. In fact, I'm still not really out of it yet. Um, but I think it, it looks like one of those games that front loads you with rewards and then probably dwindles off. Because I, you saw how many packs I had. I had about like 50 odd packs. But now, let's see. How, how would I get another pack? Yeah, either tons of gold for one pack or gems which i assume is the paid currency let's have a look oh my god they're expensive oh you can buy individual cards as well that's quite cool i mean that's like only some of oh no it's old art okay that's kind of cool though bundles all right okay new player bundle exit oh cosmetic bundles yeah so it looks like most of it... Well, who is he? So it does look like it's quite expensive. I think to round this out, let's go look at some reviews and see what they think of the game. Because I think as much as I've just experienced the new player experience and it was pretty good, bit handholdy, let's go look and see what long-time Magic players think of the game. Okay, so one of the first reviews you see is... Um, Guy with a lot of hours in the game, so he probably knows what he's talking about. Uh, get past the rigged matchmaking, you still won't be able to afford the game. The tactics being used to prey on wallets is sad. Okay, so rigged matchmaking is one, apparently. I, I, I'm taking his word for it, because he has 900 hours, so I imagine. that That is pretty accurate. And uh, wallets, yeah, I, I think my prediction was correct, where they front load you with the rewards, and then over time you just have to start paying... Uh, a lot of free-to-play games do this. I know even Master Duel does it, but at least I think Master Duel gives you a lot of gems if you grind them out. Uh, not sure how the grinding is on this particular game. Uh, edit, as pointed out by others, I do still play the game with negative review. You should see, you should want to see a review by a player like me. It allows you to put value in as someone looking to said game reviews as products of the opinion, so I do have some time invested. I've watched it shift into Wallet Vacuum Overdrive. Thus, I gave the game I love to play daily a negative review to turn away others. Stay away from this nightmare. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have started playing then. Uh, go back to your LGS local game store and play Magic as it was intended. Otherwise, you end up like Raindrop. No one wants to end up like Raindrop. Don't know who that is. Uh, if you know, let me know in the comments. I am curious. Nice to learn the basics of the game for new players. That's a pleasant review considering he has a lot of, review, uh, a lot of hours. I mean, that's mainly what I'm using this for. I've picked up a magic deck that's on the way. So this will be good to learn the basics. So another one kind of saying the opposite of the pay to win. Well, it, it does say it's pay to win. Uh, so this is another review about monetization. It says it's kind of pay to win because it's free to... Free to far? Free to... <laughs> I don't know what F2F means. Uh, you'll never collect all the mythics you want to build. Uh, in your deck competitive, same as papers or YB Shock. So at least you get free wild cards in Magic Gathering Arena. Yeah, I guess it checks out. I mean, it's going to be cheaper than paper if you don't pay any money. Like, uh, you can, I guess, technically play this for free. You can't really play Magic Gathering in real life for free. So that is it for our first episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Player Tries. Uh, I'm thinking of making this a bit of a series. As I said in the beginning, we're going to be trying some other digital card game simulators. I think the next one up is Pokemon. But if there are any others that you want to see me try, let me know down in the comments because I'll be happy to take a look and uh, give them a go. Anyways, that being said, if you made it this far in the video, please do feel free to hit subscribe. New Yu-Gi-Oh! videos each week. Wait, this isn't a Yu-Gi-Oh! video. Uh, happy dueling?